So Samsung DeX is indeed available on a variety of Samsung devices now, including the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. What does this mean for you? Okay, so let's start off with a definition of Samsung DeX itself. Then we can highlight a few key facts and take a closer look at this beloved feature by Samsung. And believe it or not, many people were just newly introduced to Samsung DeX and are just now interacting with it for the very first time. Now, the noun DeX itself simply stands for desktop experience. It's just that simple. And this proprietary, the Samsung proprietary feature that has evolved over the years as Samsung has continued to support it and mold it into a more and more convenient and easily accessible feature. Case in point, if you did watch my most recent two videos on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here, you can see we all witness that the Tab S6 Lite mid-range tablet can now access DeX. And so far, based off comments that I've gotten on these videos, it looks like many people in different regions have received that update. You know, many parts of Europe, you know, America, Africa, India, you know, and for those people who haven't received it, I would just say you guys just be patient. Hopefully Samsung will get to you all quickly enough, given how fast they've been rolling this thing out, along with this surprise support of Samsung DeX. Now let's talk about the Samsung DeX version that you received on your Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Then we're gonna go ahead and cover the other ones from other devices. And by that, I don't necessarily mean that there is a ton of different versions of Samsung DeX out there. It's just that to a certain extent, the practicality of this feature is heavily going to depend on the type of device that you have, right? So for the Tab S6 Lite that you have here, it, as far as you know, practicality goes, it may not be the same as what you would have on the Galaxy Tab S7. And simply put, that would just be because on the Galaxy Tab S7, it's a little bit more versatile, right? You can do, there are a few things that you can do, a few more things that you can do with it when compared to what you could do with what's in the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. With that being said, the Samsung DeX that you updated your Galaxy Tab S6 Lite to get will still offer you that core functionality of the feature itself, right? So you still be able to have the GUI of your machine change up to you know mimic kind of that desktop look. So it's essentially going to still offer you that desktop experience. And with that, you can still take full advantage of it by adding like a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard and pretty much turn your tablet into a mini laptop. And yes, your Galaxy Tab S6 Lite should be able to connect via Bluetooth to a mouse and also a keyboard, a little bit like I did on my last video on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here. So you should be able to connect all of that stuff and have kind of like a mini laptop. And by the way, before I forget, if this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome, of course. If you do like the content so far, I very much appreciate that. Now, please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a huge boost to this channel here. And again, I very much appreciate that. Now, anyways, let's go on back to the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here. And let's talk about what you will be getting with DeX added to this tablet and what you won't be getting. The feature itself is just amazing. You will be able to open multiple individual windows or apps and be able to rearrange them and play with them as you see fit on your screen. And I know it may sound like I'm exaggerating, but there's a huge difference when using Samsung DeX on your tablet versus using just your tablet in tablet mode. You know, in terms of productivity, believe me, it really improves productivity provided that you have, you know, the keyboard and also a mouse. It really changes this thing to really come close to a laptop, not in terms of performance, but just the ergonomics and just playing with the screen and it looks like you're literally working on the laptop. It really helps productivity a lot. With that being said, however, one of Samsung DeX's nicest tools is missing out of the DeX that you have on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. 
and that is the ability to use an external monitor that you will connect to your Tab S6 Lite as a secondary monitor and then mirror your main screen as you would with another device like let's say the Galaxy Tab S7 or something. If you did watch my update video then you probably saw that I attempt, I tried to use my Leapal external monitor to see if it would work. I mean I suspected it wouldn't work but I figured I'd just give it a try. And the problem of course is more hardware related because you have USB, USB type C 2.0 here which does not push video signal. Yeah, I figure I'll just go ahead and try. You never know, right? But anyways, again, it's more of a hardware thing. So the hope, I guess my hope is just like someone mentioned in one of the comments, the hope is that maybe in the future, Samsung could potentially come up with an update that can enable this tablet to push video wirelessly to another monitor. I mean, then things get a little bit too complicated. That's just kind of a random hope, right? So if, if they do it, fine. If not, it is what it is. And also someone in the comments section suggested that you can use a Chromecast stick to be able to project the image from your Tab S6 Lite here using DeX to like a TV or an external monitor. I personally haven't tried that, but you know, it's worth a shot. You know, give it a try and see if that works, if it works. You know, put that in the comment section, let us know that it works. Anyways, back to DeX here. So believe it or not, the first version of Samsung DeX actually required a DeX docking station and that was needed in order to properly work. Then it was made easier to use when the DeX HDMI adapter was introduced and things just kept changing over time. Then it became very exclusive only to certain devices. Then of course, fast forward now you have it available on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite here, which is a mid-range device. You know, this wasn't done before. Although full disclosure, the Galaxy Tab S5e has Samsung DeX. But then again, you could argue that it wasn't really a mid-range. It was kind of like a higher end mid-range device. But either way, Samsung DeX is not available whether you have a Tab S5e, it's been available there, or you have a Tab S6 Lite here, the regular mid-range device. So just to highlight a few more key points on Samsung DeX here is that on a flagship device like a Tab S6 or S7 or S7 Plus, you are offered a little bit more functionality, you know, out of your tablet when using Samsung DeX. And by that, I mean that beyond kind of like the main stuff, right? So the core functionality of the feature itself, like you would be able to use on here. On the Galaxy Tab S7, you have different ways of enabling that, right? I have my Tab S7 here. So, the first one I want to go over is the fact that you could just use a keyboard to turn on Samsung Deck, which is a pretty cool feature. So you have the just a regular mode there. That's the tablet mode. And if you just snap that in, it goes, it's going to go into Samsung Dex mode right there. So just that easily. And now you have a computer or a laptop rather. So that's just one way Samsung Dex is a little bit more versatile when using it on the you know, on a flagship device. The second way is that you can also use it just like you would on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. You know, you just turn it on and directly start using it on the tablet. The third way is a little bit more practical is just the ability you have to kind of cast your screen directly to like your TV or a PC or an external monitor wirelessly. That's something that was also new that came with kind of like the new wave of new devices and the updates. So you can, you don't have access to that. By the way, the other ones that I'm listing here, you don't have access to that with the Tab S6 Lite, right? So the wireless cast to another screen, you don't have access to that. And the, you know, just snapping a keyboard to the tablet, to the Tab S6 Lite and getting Samsung DeX to start, you don't have that on the Tab S6 Lite. And the next one here is the ability to have your main screen here being mimicked by an external monitor using just a, a plug, like a cable, right? To go from USB type C to USB type C or to another, to a USB type A. You don't have a way to do that with the Tab S6, with the Samsung DeX that is included in the Tab S6 Lite here. And you can also enhance the capability of DeX on a dual screen setup by using third party apps. But anyways, for the sake of not making this video go any longer, I'm gonna stop here. Now to you all who just 
are now experiencing Samsung DeX for the first time, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this feature. And to people who are already familiar with Sam or who were already familiar with Samsung DeX, what do you think it means to have it now available on a mid-range tablet like the Tab S6 Lite here? Anyway, so I'm gonna catch you down in the comment section so we can have that little discussion going. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Don't forget, of course, if you haven't done so already, to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share the video also. Again, I'm gonna catch you in the next video, and up until then, stay safe out there.